In this lecture, we'll be looking at how we use the MATLAB function linprog to numerically solve a linear programming problem. So recall, we have this linear programming problem of maximizing total revenue given by this function, 6x1 plus 4x2 plus 7x3 plus 5x4, such that these three constraints are satisfied, so three inequality constraints, and all of the variables are non-negative. And recall that we vectorize this problem by defining a vector C, which was the prices, 6, 4, 7, 5. Those are the coefficients of our X terms in our total revenue. And we saw that this was another way of expressing that total revenue as a dot product of our vector of decision variables and this vector of coefficients C. So we're going to use this C. We then vectorized these three inequality constraints by pulling the coefficients off the left-hand side here and putting them into a matrix we called A. So you see 1, 2, 1, 2, for instance, from this first expression showing up as the first row of A. And then the right-hand side, we use these to define our vector B, 20, 175, you see here. And so our constraints became AX is less than or equal to B, because this left-hand side, the left-hand side of these constraints collectively, form, are formed by the product of the matrix A times the vector X. So to work with MATLAB, for this. MATLAB really likes vectors and matrices. MATLAB is short for Matrix Laboratory. So if we go over to MATLAB, so this is what the MATLAB interface looks like. You can install this on your machines uh, or use a, a machine on campus. And you see that MATLAB has this command window. So this window here, which is kind of like a calculator. So you can use MATLAB in different ways. You can say like 2 plus 2, and like a calculator, it just tells you the answer is 4. We can also write things out here. Um, so if we take clear and CLC, that wipes everything. But let's actually now start to define our matrices, our matrix and vectors from this problem. So Recall that this is our A here, so maybe I'll uh, move things around a little bit so we can see. And so we're going to say A equals, now to set up a matrix in MATLAB, we use a square bracket, and you can start with the first row. So in this case, 1 space 2 space 1 space 2. And you can separate those entries by a space or by a comma. To go to a new column, we do a semicolon. So semicolon, 6, space 5, space 3, space 2. And then for the third row, semicolon, 3, space 4, space 9, space 12, close bracket. And if we hit return, we now see over here on the right, there is a variable that's a 3 by 4 created. A, it's a matrix, and this is our matrix A with its entries. For B, B is a vector, but remember, we want it to be a column vector, so we say 20, and then we need a semicolon to go to the next row, 100, semicolon 75. And now we have our vector B defined, and then we need that vector C, which was 6, 4, 7, 5. So we can also create that. So 6, semicolon 4, semicolon 7, semicolon 5. So now we have everything we need for our linear programming problem. And we're going to work with the function called linprog. And MATLAB has this nice functionality that if you type help and then the name of a function, it brings up this, this entire help file that lets you see 
uh, how to use the function. So we see here linprog fab attempts to solve the linear programming problem, minimize f transpose times x. So note in MATLAB, the single quote or apostrophe is your transpose. So this means the column vector f transpose times x. And of course, we're going to pass this vector our c. But keep in mind, we have a maximization problem. The default here is to minimize. So we're going to have to pass it negative c. Since we want to maximize c transpose x to use a minimization routine, we need to minimize negative c transpose x. And with our a and our b, we have everything encoded in here except the need to have the variables x1 through x4 be non-negative. So we're going to have to look through this documentation a bit to get to that. We see here we have the ability to include some equality constraints. We don't have any of those, so it tells us here to enter these empty matrices as parameters. So we'll, we'll do that. Looking here, in this option, we have the option for a lower bound and an upper bound. So we want to set a lower bound of zero. And there's no upper bound, and it tells us here we can set the upper bounds to be inf for infinity if they're unbounded above. So we want to enter this type of entry. So let's copy that, go down to the command prompt and paste it, and we're going to make some edits. So our objective function needs, remember, negative c. We have our a, we have our b. We enter, enter an empty matrix for these two parameters associated with uh, equality constraints. And for a lower bound, we need a vector of four zeros. And for an upper bound, we need a vector of four imps. So we have four imps. And now when we hit return, this should solve our linear programming problem for us and give us our optimal value. So you see our optimal values have us producing 15 units of x1, 0 units of x2, 3 and a third units of x3, and 0 units of x4. And we can see that this x, if we do x transpose times c, 113 and dollars and 33 cents is our optimized maximal revenue. So you can see the approach here with MATLAB, it's all vectors and matrices. And that's really the key way that MATLAB works. Um, and this is going to be very handy for us to check solutions of linear programming problems and to solve linear programming problems in general.